Hey guys, so how about using LLMs with long context window instead of RAG, retrieval augmented generation? Or do you still think RAG still outperforms LLMs with long context window? I mean, there are a lot of confusions around LLMs with long context window and RAG, whether to use uh, RAG or uh, LLMs with uh, long context window, right? Should it be LLMs with long context window versus RAG or can we use both LLMs with long context window and RAG? So let's find the answers for these questions in this video. So watch the video till the end. I have a simple tutorial to show you how we can use both for efficient AI application. So let's understand what is context window with regards to LLMs, right? So in large language models, the context window is the amount of text the model can process and remember at one time. So think of it like the model's memory or focus area, right? So when you give uh, an LLM some text, it can only look at a certain amount of it at once. So this is called context window. For example, if a models, uh, if a model has a context window of 500 words, it can understand and uh, respond back based on the latest 500 words in the conversation, right? So anything beyond that, beyond 500 words is forgotten or not considered or uh, simply ignored. So a larger context window allows the model to keep track of longer conversations or more complex conversation or information, right? So the larger context windows give uh, language models more background uh, to consider as they as they generate a response leading to more coherent and relevant answers hey guys so let's understand the context window of llms uh, in a very simple layman's terms okay so imagine uh, you're talking to a friend uh, who can only uh, remember the last five sentences of the conversation at any uh, given time okay so if you say uh, six sentences, uh, your friend will forget the first one and only remember the most recent five sentences. Uh, let's take um, let's take some five uh, sentences as examples. Okay, uh, let's say you uh, you tell your friend that I went to store, uh, I bought apples. Uh, uh, it was raining. I saw my neighbor. We had a chat. So these are five sentences. So he remembers these five sentences, but if you add one more extra, the sixth sentence that is, that can be like, then I walked home. Now your friend forgets the first sentence, that is, I went to the store, right? So, and he only remembers the most recent five sentences. I bought apples, it was raining, I saw my neighbor, we had a chat, then I walked home. So in this example, the context window is five sentences, right? The same idea applies to the LLMs, except their context window is the number of words or tokens they can remember at once. So I hope you understood this uh, example. Hey guys, so here we have two charts, uh, one with context size comparison of different LLMs with context uh, length. And the second chart, the downside, what you see, it's the declared versus uh, effective context length, right? So the companies that uh, came up with these LLMs can declare anything, but what is the effective context length? So that's what the second chart below uh, shows. But let's talk about the first chart, okay? So as you can see, uh, when it started with GPT 3.4 Turbo, uh, the context size, the length, number of tokens, what we call was kind of less. So it started increasing with how the sophisticated model started uh, releasing uh, regularly. So Mistral 7B, uh, you see 32K tokens. Again, Gemini 1.0 Pro 32K, uh, 32K uh, tokens, but it increased from Cloud uh, 1 and uh, GPT Core Turbo and Cloud 2.1. And now the biggest and most uh, Recent advance uh, uh, advance is coming from advanced model is coming from the Google, which uh, presents Gemini 1.5 Pro with a context window size that can go up to one million tokens. Uh, 
can you imagine this immense context window allows the model to ingest um, and process vast amounts of information such as you know 700 almost 700k words or code bases with over 30k lines of code in a single prompt can you just imagine so that's about the first uh, chart and as you can see the second chart it shows the declared versus effective context length like i said and the companies that produced or created these LLMs can come up, can declare anything but what is the effective context length as you can see declared length and the effective length right uh, so gemini 1.5 pro can say uh, the 1 million uh, what you say um, context length 1 million tokens but the effective length is somewhere around 128k um, tokens but um, um, you can see the other models also listed here uh, gpt4 turbo it says 128k uh, tokens but the effective length is uh, 64k um, tokens um, same with command r uh, p3 and uh, mixtral uh, 822b uh, but again, Miss Mistral uh, 87B does a very good job of maintaining the declared and the effective length. But what is so impressive about this chart is the 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 uh, LLM that we are gonna we are talking today. That is Jamba Instruct that maintains declared length and effective length almost the same. So today we are going to see how we can use Jamba Instruct model and basically build a simple. Uh, a rag pipeline and uh, combine both because Jamba is considered as one of the sophisticated uh, uh, LLMs with uh, long context window. So we're going to use that and build a simple rag pipeline and see the responses, um, see the responses for the user query and uh, compare whether, whether, how about, we, we will compare how about combining both the rag and then the LLM with long context window. So for that, we're going to use Jamba Instruct model. Okay. So uh, we'll see. I'll see you in the next part of this video, where I'm going to show through a simple tutorial how we can combine both LLM with long context window and RAC, how it can produce uh, contextually relevant and proper answers. But we might have still this question, right? RAC versus long context window LLM. Who wins? Right. So as you can see here, a simple comparison table uh, between uh, retrieval augmented generation and uh, LLMs with long context window, uh, whether to use this or that. Uh, but our tutorial shows how you can use both and basically come up with a proper and contextually relevant uh, responses for any user query in your AI applications. But let's see uh, through this uh, comparison table what actually goes between a rag versus long context window, right? So the definition um, combines LLMs with external knowledge retrieval systems or sources like database documents to provide accurate and updated responses. Whereas in long context window, uh, increases the LLM's capacity to process uh, and remember larger chunks of text at once, right? Uh, and uh, when it comes to memory limit, uh, it by the rack bypasses the context window limitation by retrieving relevant information on demand um, from uh, external sources, right? Um, whereas in long context window LLMs, uh, dependent it is dependent on the fixed size of the model's context context window. It can be two thousand or thirty two thousand tokens, or it can be more than that. Right, so handling uh, large data, as you can see in the rack, uh, it's efficient for very large data sets as it fetches only relevant information when needed. Whereas in long context window, it needs to fit in um, all the relevant data within that context window declared for that particular level. Potent it can potentially miss the key information if the window size is uh, exceeded. So, and then when it comes to the scalability, um, a rag scales better for complex tasks that require access to boss knowledge. Um, whereas um, in long context window LLMs, because uh, it becomes limited as the context size grows, right? Requiring uh, longer windows 
uh, which may increase computational resources and also costs. So one thing we need to remember that in long context window uh, LLMs, LLMs with long context window, the, the cost is a major factor, okay? Um, so, and, and yeah, let's talk about the resource usage. Um, uh, uses external in the RAG uses external retrieval systems and a smaller context window, often uh, making it more uh, resource efficient, right? Um, whereas the LLMs with long context window require more memory and compute power as the context window size increases. So that is where uh, we need to make an effort and choose the proper LLM with uh, with a proper context window, not very high or not too uh, less, not too small. So that's why today we are uh, choosing uh, Jamba Instruct model as the long context window, and we're going to combine that with the RAG approach to see how we can come up with proper uh, accurate contextually uh, relevant responses for any user query. Hey guys, so here is my simple tutorial on building effective AI applications by combining both RAG and long context window LLMs. This is basically a RAG application using Llama index, the AI framework and long context model that is Jamba instruct from AI21 labs. Um, uh, this is my complete notebook code and uh, I'm using uh, single source uh, notebook feature here. Uh, go to singlestore.com, sign up. Single store has a free share tier which you can use free forever. And yeah, create a new notebook. Uh, this is where you land. You can uh, use my notebook code. I'm going to sh share the link of this code in the description so that you can go through and try to uh, copy and see how the um, how you can build effective AI applications using both RAG and LLMs with long context window. So first things first, uh, let's install Llama index and the uh, the Jamba instruct model uh, from uh, EI21 labs. Uh, that's what we are doing uh, pip through pip install. And then once we install that, we're gonna import the uh, dependencies and the libraries. Uh, that is what we are doing. And then we are setting the open AI API key and uh, EI21 API key. You can go to uh, EI21 website and get your API key. Set your API keys and then let's set up the uh, Jamba instruct uh, as our LLM. So this Jamba instruct model is from EI21 labs. Uh, so yeah, so set up the uh, LLM. We are setting up the LLM as the Jamba instruct model with max tokens uh, 2000. And then let's let's download some data that's um, from Amazon. Uh, it's a uh, financial data of uh, Amazon publicly available uh, from the last five years, from the last five years. And uh, we are storing it uh, in a data directory. Uh, so these are simple, simple PDFs. That's what we are doing, uh, downloading and saving it in the data directory. And let's set up the index. That's what we are doing here. So we are basically building a query engine, uh, right? So, so let's enter a query to make sure our RAG system is working. So the question is, uh, what was the company's revenue in 2021? Uh, since the, uh, the, the data we downloaded is all about the uh, Amazon's uh, financial um, information, from 2021, I think 2022, 23, 2020, 2019. So we are asking a simple question here. What was the company's revenue in 2021? And the answer is, uh, as you can see, the RAG system is uh, answering us back with the company's revenue is in 2021 was blah, blah, blah. Right, yeah, it worked perfectly. Let's move on. Uh, we can, uh, so now let's ask uh, another question, right? What was the company's revenue in 2023? So as you can see, there's a problem here as our system uh, isn't answering us properly. As, as you can see, the response is, the company's uh, revenue in 2023 was not explicitly mentioned in the provided context, <laughs> you know? But the actually, uh, we have the document here, 2023 document, and the revenue is actually mentioned here, but our 
um, rack system is answering this wrong. Why? Because that's because the default amount of retrieve chunks is rather small. This makes the whole system prone to errors and failing to capture the information that is needed located in the documents. That is where we need to build a new query engine on top of our existing uh, index. And let's try the query uh, again, right? Mm, so we can basically increase the number of retrieve chunks from just a few uh, to 100 and vastly improve the entire uh, rack system. So if you use, if, if we extend the query engine with our LLM and uh, top K with 100, we can actually get the answer for the question that failed before, right? The same question if we ask again here, what was the company's revenue in 2023? We can, we are getting the answer properly here, right? So let's ask again uh, with just a simple default query engine, right? Um, was there a stock split in the last five years? Uh, the answer is, no, there was no stock split in the last five years. But we know that this is not the right answer. But again, if you use the extended query engine, right? Uh, if you ask the same query, was there a stock split in the last five years? Now we are getting the proper answer, right? Yes, there was a stock split in the last five years. On May 27, 20, 2022, Amazon.com in uh, affected a 20 for one stock split uh, of its uh, common stock. So as you can see this way, right, this way by combining both rack and context window LLMs, we can build highly effective AI applications. Hope you understood uh, the whole concept and uh, how we can basically use both uh, uh, rag and long context windows, uh, long context window LLMs. Uh, for our AI applications. Um, yeah, I'm gonna share the link of this code, uh, notebook code in the, in, the, in the description of this video so that you can go through and try to add your own um, data and then try to uh, see how this combo basically um, works. I mean, combo means RAG and the long context window LLMs. Thanks.